Hey, what's happening? Watching the TV right now. I got cops on the Paramount Network. And uh, I've been wanting to make a video about this for a while. And this uh, retains the WWE superstar John Cena. Being in all these here commercials. And all these movies. As you know, he's going to be in the Fast and Furious number 9 pretty soon. He's going to play the heel, the bad guy. So, the, so this makes him the second WWE superstar next to Dwayne The Rock Johnson to be in that franchise. In fact, um, when you think about it, John Cena has been everywhere, mostly in either commercials or in movie roles, you name it. He recently did a commercial for this one um, insurance company whose name I forgot, but he's uh, in the middle of a dog show riding a big cow. In fact, um, not too long ago, I think about a year and a half ago, I tweeted out that he was doing uh, commercials for hefty trash bags. He's been doing a lot of ads, he's been doing a lot of this, which is fine. I have nothing against him doing that. Now for everybody, someone I want to say here to everybody out there who get pissed off that celebrities like himself are doing all these ads, why are they doing all these um, stupid TV uh, commercials, simple, for the money. Companies like um, the Hefty Trash Bag Company and this insurance company or that mouthwash company, they pay a lot of money for these celebrities. They're the ones who are um, having the last laugh because they're the ones getting multi-million bucks for doing these commercials. And the reason is simple. Whenever uh, we see a big celebrity that's on top of the world, whatever advertisers that are out there, they're going to try and get those people to do their commercials so people will watch and pay attention. Like say, um, for example, I know it's not going to happen, but Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. He said that he has a, he puts out a solo record that's massively huge. Huge enough to outsell any of his the records that he did with Led Zeppelin. Various uh, companies, whether it's uh, Crest Toothpaste or um, Scope Mouthwash, they're going to come to Jimmy Page and see if they can get him to do an ad. Why? Page is the biggest thing. And the best way to get people to buy our products is to have Page endorse them. People will pay attention and know how and knowing how respected John Cena is still by the public as an actor, a pro wrestler, and a, a product endorser. People will buy into that. So everybody out there who's not too thrilled about Cena doing all these um, commercials, think about this: he's the one getting all the big bucks. While people like you and I are still stuck at home, working 9 to 5 jobs. Well, except me, because I'm not working at the moment. You know, it's somebody I also want to bring up as well. is another commercial I saw that Pizza Hut did. It's like a reenactment commercial. You remember the scene from the movie Risky Business where Tom Cruise is dancing in his underwear in the long sleeve shirt to... Bob Seger's all-time rock and roll. I'll bet you right now, Bob Seger and whoever co-wrote that song with him are making big bucks right now. And I guess the record label that released that song back, which by the way goes back to 1978 on an album he put out called Stranger in Town. Um, I remember a lot of the songs from that. We Got Tonight is one of them. Hollywood Nights is another. I remember I had the picture disc for that record. 
which I would love to see come back pretty soon, since Vinyl is supposed to be coming back with a vengeance. Bob Seger is um, gonna, is definitely making a lot oodles of money because of that song being in uh, that Pizza Hut commercial. It would have been better if uh, they had Pizza make an appearance as the pizza delivery guy. You know, so people would know uh, who the guy is that performed that song. Especially to the kids of today. I mean, when you think about it, Seeger was the, uh, I guess you would say, the Ed Sheeran of of the, of his time. Let me rephrase that. Bob Seeger was the Ed Sheeran of his decade, of his time. And he has a lot of good songs to prove it. So, there we go. I'm going to turn the volume back up because... Uh, the commercials are done. Yeah, I still turn off the turn off the commercials. I'm not, I never was a commercial guy, except for the original Vanilla Coke commercials that came out in 2002. Gotta miss that drink. Well, it's still out. Still, the Vanilla Vanilla Coke is still out there, but I miss. But I drink a lot of diet, so I miss having that. I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments below. And hit that like button. Just get, take those old records from the shelf.